All right, hey everybody, it's David Kramer from Kramer Unstuck, and today I want to. Sh I got my doors on. I had a previous video where I said I was going to put doors on this area here, and I got my doors on, so that's good. Uh, <clears throat> took a little doing. I mean, like I, I said, I'm not a. Uh, I, I'm more of a rough carpenter, but considering my level of skill uh, I did pretty good took my time got everything right I need to put molding on around here to cover some of this shit up but yeah got everything working now the problem I have is uh, I need to I have door stops up here at the top because I do not have a partition I don't want a partition in between because uh, I'm thinking of me waking up in the morning and coming out here and banging into the partition and eventually the partition's going to get ripped out. And so I have two door stops, but uh, the fact that this does not have a partition means that the door kind of will come out. It, it, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I ordered four uh, magnetic door stops. That way I'm going to put one on either side of, uh, of the, you know, I'm going to have two for each door. That way, at least, you know, it will, it'll close that way. And then I'm going to put a, another handle. I'm going to open this up. As you see right here, I have this pole handle on the other side. Okay. So I'm going to put another one on this side, but boom, got it. You know, this has been a very productive week. I got a, I got a, my iPhone, I, <coughs> let me move that over here like that. I think that there will work. Okay. Okay, another thing that I did, I'm, I'm into weightlifting, I like weightlifting, so I got, I got these, okay, these are uh, Synergy, they're farmer walk handles, and I started out with 50 pounds because I'm trying, I want to get used to it, uh, I did 90 pounds, and I did a couple circuits with that, and that there was kind of a, you know, that, I mean, of course, the way I am, the amount of, uh, the distance that I was walking, pretty much, uh, you know, wore me out, but, yeah, well, I'm going to get used to it. Both of these handles, <clears throat> both of these handles uh, can uh, hold up to uh, 300 pound on each handle. So I'm going to see what I can do because I, I, I watch a guy on YouTube named Brian Alsru and he said that and he said, uh, you should at least use your body weight. So I'm going to work up to that, you know, see how quickly I can get up to my body weight. Right now, yeah, I don't know what the heck's going on here with my hair. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to try to get up to my body weight. My body weight right now, I, it's between 225 and 230. So, but another thing I did was I had to put up another dusk to dawn light. And uh, my dusk to dawn light used a metal halide bulb and I could not find the right bulb. I don't know. Uh, I could find all the other bulbs. I tried one that seemed to be comparable to, to work, but that didn't work. So <clears throat> I decided to hell with that shit. And I went on Amazon and I bought a uh, LED. It's an LED dusk to dawn light. Okay, no problem. Got that. And when I got it out of the box, you have an eye. And you have to put the eye, you know, plug the eye in. And then you turn it. Now with every dusk to dawn light, I only uh, replaced, I replaced one. Okay. But 
all the dusk to dawn lights that my dad had, okay, and the one that I replaced, and the one that I had before that I had to replace, you, you clip the, you plug the eye in and then you turn it. Now, the light's facing this way. You click that so that the eye faces north. Well, not this one. Uh, this one here, when you plug it in and you click it, the eye's facing northwest. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I thought, well, maybe the, the, where the plug, where you, uh, the receptacle, maybe I, well, you can't move that. So I, now, this actually worked pretty good, but I had to jury rig this with, uh, I used uh, two metal, uh, thin metal, ah, now I can't think of it. Well, I had two metal pieces, one on the top and one on the bottom, where I had to drill through that and bolt them fast. And then I put another piece on that just covered over the top the bottom and then I put a piece on an angle so that it was a, a double you know uh, where it where it could help hold it uh, better where it clamped it like a, you have a double uh, man my, my brain just ain't working right now that don't that irritate you you know five seconds ago I was thinking of shit and now all of a sudden my brain decided it don't want to work for me but anyway uh, <clears throat> where you su support yeah that supports it because it, it it comes out like this, okay, straight, and then it goes out that way. And that was the only way I could get that, that the eye would face north. But it works because it, it's LED and they're very bright. So it covers my shed where the pole is, and it also covers down into the yard, but... The way of thinking, when I when I when I plugged that in and clicked it, I'm thinking, what is wrong with these people? Because you know the light faces this way, okay. So I don't know where they come from. I don't know if everybody is has everything on it. They're on an angle, you know, where north is always that. Way. But that was something where. What I had to do was I had to adapt and I had to figure out how I can make this work for me. And I did. Okay. In the past, with the way my mindset was, that was the kind of shit that would just make me quit. Yeah. I, I would go, well, I can't do that. And I got to go get another one that works. In other words, I got to make sure that it's easy for me. So in a way, I'm glad that you got dumbasses out there fucking shit up for you because you have to prove that you're smarter and better than those people. Yeah. Yeah. Doors, paneling. I got a lot more work here that I'm going to do. But this is just, a, you know, you're out there and you, you, you have a home or whatever. Or whatever you're trying to accomplish in life. And you just feel like, yeah, I can't do it. Just tell yourself, yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to get this right. Okay, I'm putting uh, window sills in. I'm staining them and shit like that. This one here, back here, I stained it twice, and now that thing's still wet, so that's going to take a while. Uh, but yeah, 2023 has been a very productive year. It's been, I, I'm going to say this, it's been my best year yet. And I'm 55. And that there, I tell you what, that that's it's kind of pathetic you know because uh like i said before i mean i kind of just would slide through life you know if you just go along and you know do the bare minimum and uh maybe every now and then you do something that is impressive and then you just quit for years because of uh your your mindset you need to just say fuck it I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw myself into whatever the hell I need to do. And if I fail, I'm going to keep working at it until I fail. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay? So, I hope that inspires people. I hope you have, get motivated. You know, I'm, I've got weightlifting tomorrow. I love weightlifting. You know, I was feeling kind of uh, down. I did drink some beer yesterday and... I was kind of just a little bit hungover and kind of going along with that. 
And then I looked at my handles there and I thought the hell with it. So I went out and I did, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I went in my yard over here, went around over to the other side and back and I did three sets of five circuits. So that made me feel really good, but you know, and, and that's the thing. And you know, you, you get, you succeed at this and then you work at that. And then you succeed at that, and then you work at something else. And you just keep going. You know, purpose. You, you know, you, pur you need purpose in life, okay? And, yeah, 2023 is going to be just as good, if not better. So, that's it. That's all I have for today. And, uh, like I said, I hope you get inspired and... You know, if you're already moving forward and not letting shit obstacles get in your way, great. Keep going. Uh, if you, you know, let obstacles take you down, realize that those obstacles are put in front of you to help make you a better person. Okay? So, you know, find a way. Over it, under it, you know, through it, whatever. So... That's all I have for today, and until next time, I'm David Kramer, and this is Kramer Unstuck.